Okay, let's look at another example in relation to a super node. So I've got this circuit here, all right? Now, uh, of course, this is my uh, reference node here, which is at zero volts. I'm going to call this the V1 node. Uh, this I'm going to call, well, this will be the V2 node. And this guy over here, which is all of this, is really the V3, all right? But what we're going to do is really going to call all of this over here, we're going to call this my super node. All right, so what we've kind of circled there is really that super node. So we're going to sum our currents. We're going to start over here with the V1 node. All right, here we go. Well, we've got two milliamps coming in. So there we go, two milliamps. Um, let's consider this current here going out. And so that would be a minus and it would be a V1 minus what? Voltage on this side, which is a V3, and that's divided by that 4K, isn't it? I've got the current in this branch here, which is what? A minus, if I consider it going this way, that's a minus bracket V1 minus V2, and that is divided by 1K, isn't it? And then of course I've got this current here coming in, and so that's really a plus, three milliamps, and I think I've got everything now, and all of that is really equal to zero. All right, so that's my first node equation. All right, we're gonna treat this guy then as a super node, and we're gonna consider basically, you know, what is going out um, and what is coming in or going out or going out, and we'll treat it in that fashion with respect to kind of what I've circled around there as being that super node. So look, let's label it super node. Okay, here we go. Well, look, coming out, we can say we've got V2 divided by the 2K. All right, that deals with that. Um, the current in this branch going in this direction would be a, uh, by the way, I should have put a minus in front because I'm defining that as going that way. So current in this branch, in this direction would be a minus, that would be a V2 minus a V1, would it not, divided by that 1K. So that's dealt with this current. This guy's going out, and so that's a minus what? Three milliamps going out in that direction. So we've dealt with this, we've dealt with this, we've dealt with this, okay? Come to the other side, we've got this current here going in this direction, that's a minus, isn't it? V3, and that's divided by 3K. So that's dealt with this. Coming into that node, we've got a plus four milliamps. And then what are we left with? This current over here, which would be defining in this direction, we would have minus bracket, that would be V3 minus the V1 over the other side, close the bracket, that's divided by 4K, isn't it? And all of that is equal to zero. So I think we've got everything there. Okay, so that's two equations. Now we've got three unknowns in this problem. Well, let's have a look at this. What about this V3 minus this V2, right? V3 minus V2, well, that's of course equal to that 10. And so we get another equation, which of course is V3 minus V2, and that is equal to that 10 volts. Okay, so we now have three equations with the three unknowns. This is the circuit analysis. This is the nodal analysis. What you could do, if you so choose, is you could solve for these three equations, finding V1, V2, and V3. And that's the mathematics. That's forming our simultaneous equations and using whatever technique uh, to get your solution. All right, so this is another example then where we're actually considering dealing with a super node because it's got that voltage source sitting in the middle over there. Okay, I'll see you next time.